Hi, and welcome back to the Cutover Training Series. In this video, we'll explore how to navigate your runbooks using runbook views, search, filters, and streams. Depending on your level of access, the information you see will be streamlined and tailored to suit your role. For example, you may only see the runbooks that you have been assigned to. Let's get started. Welcome to the Cutover homepage. Select your workspace from the navigation bar or from My Workspaces. This will take you to a list of runbooks created within that workspace. Let's go ahead and choose a runbook to look at. Here we have a great example of a recovery plan runbook. Let's start with a simple overview of how to navigate this runbook, and then we will take a deeper look later on. This view is called the Tasks List. In the center of the screen, we can see our runbook of tasks laid out chronologically. This gives us great observability of all the steps and stages involved in this recovery plan. On the left of the task list, we have the filter bar, which behaves in a similar way to the filter bar in the workspace view. The menu on the right hand side of the screen shows the configuration options for this runbook. The pencil or information icon opens up the runbook details menu where several parameters of the runbook can be set, such as the runbook name, the folder it's in, the time zone, as well as the timing of your runbook. Next, we can view the users and teams assigned to this runbook. Below that, we can see any comments that have been added to the runbook. And lastly, there is an option to send out ad hoc comms to users and teams involved. Let's take a look at the top of the screen. Here we have a variety of menus that can help us to navigate the runbook. First, we can see the name of the runbook. The cogwheel on the right opens up the settings menu. Here we have a list of choices like making duplicates, import options, and the audit log. The star icon will add this runbook to your navigation bar on the left hand side of the screen. Closing the navigation bar will give you more space to work on screen. Click the cutover logo or the arrow on the top left. Next, we see links to pages, dashboards, tasks, and time zone. Pages takes us to the runbook homepage. Here we can look at general information about this runbook. At a glance, we can see its RAG status, an executive level summary, any useful links, and who its admins are. Dashboards allow for detailed observability while monitoring the activity and progress of a runbook. This provides stakeholders with immediate real-time data. Tasks takes us back to the task list view. Next, we have set time zone. By clicking here, a user can view a runbook in any given time zone. Note that this will only affect their viewing of the runbook. On the top right of the screen, we have the total plan duration of the runbook and the play button. If a runbook has been started in rehearsal mode or live mode, this area will show elapsed time. On the left and below, we have the filter menu. By clicking on the magnifying glass, we can quickly search through all the tasks in this runbook. Next, we have my tasks. Here, you can immediately focus on just the tasks that have been assigned to you streamlining the user experience to get to where you need to go fast. If the runbook is currently running in live or rehearse mode, you will see the active button next to the filter menu. This will only show the current active tasks from your runbook. On the right hand side, we have list, node map and table views. Node map gives you a pictorial representation of your runbook and highlights the dependencies between tasks so you can see the flow of your runbook from start to finish. And finally, we have a table view of all the tasks built into the runbook. This can be especially useful for cross-referencing task information. Let's take a deeper look at the task list. On the left of the tasks, we have their start date and time. The icon for each task represents a different task type. The color shows its assigned streams. Alongside the icon, we have the task ID and name. Additional icons may display to show their integrations with other platforms. 
On the right hand side, we can see comments, task duration, and the assigned teams and users for that task. The C symbol will show automatically if a task is part of the critical path. We'll talk more about that in later videos. Clicking on the task itself will open the task details panel. This is where a task can be configured in different ways. For example, its task type, which stream it's in, duration and assigned users and teams. Custom fields can be created, providing your runbooks a more bespoke set of parameters. Please contact your customer success manager or the help center for more information. Multiple tasks can be selected by ticking the checkboxes on the left of each task. This allows you to make multiple edits saving time. Another great way to search your tasks is by using filters. Clicking on the filter icon opens the filter bar. Filters provide a powerful and dynamic way for you to be in control of the tasks in your runbook. There is a list of filters in the bottom half of the bar, allowing you to search through your tasks in the runbook. This behaves in a similar way to filtering runbooks in the workspace area. First on the list are streams. Streams and substreams organize runbook tasks into groups. Not only does this allow a runbook plan to be built in sections, but they also aid in the navigation and understanding of runbooks. Every new runbook will default to the primary stream. New streams can be added depending on your role. You can click through the list of streams to filter the tasks in different ways. Below we have further filters that can be applied to the runbook. We can use quick filters to focus on just milestone tasks. We can look at tasks assigned to specific teams, users, the task type, stage, even completion type and a lot more. Combinations of filters can be saved for access later, saving you time instead of repeatedly clicking through the filter menu. To save your combination of filters, click the Save Filter button at the top of the filter bar. In this window, you can name and save your combination. Your custom filter will now be accessible under the heading of Saved Filters for quick access later. These custom filters will only be visible to you. Thank you for watching Cutover Training. For more information, please visit the Help Center.